Hey all, it's Brandon again. Today uh, we're messing with Chrome OS, Fle Chrome OS Flex again, and um, several people have asked now about Visual Studio Code, which is a good topic because that's something I use pretty much every day. Um, but I haven't used it on the Chromebook yet, so we are going to go ahead right now and test it out. We're going to go over two different ways to get Visual Studio Code on this Chromebook, and so let's dig into it. How's that? Now, the first thing you're going to need is the Linux environment enabled on your Chromebook. And as I always say, a lot of people have been having troubles getting this working on Chrome OS Flex. And I think it's just an issue with where Chrome OS Flex is right now. But if you're one of the lucky ones who can get it to work, then this first method is uh, going to work for you. So just open the browser, search for Visual, you guys have Studio Code, so we can download this thing. We'll go to the downloads, and we're going to want the Linux Deb edition of that. So that's what we're going to download. Is it going? Yeah, it's going. Okay. So it's downloading pretty quick, thankfully. And, all right, show that in folder. That'll be in our downloads folder. We'll just double click on it and we'll install. And I hope this doesn't take long. It shouldn't. Looks like it's chugging right along there. So you can see sometimes for Linux apps, it's just a quick and easy process and it works great. Sometimes, I mean, if you go through my channel and look at some of the other things we try to install, things have been hit or miss. So, while Chrome OS Flex is good for some things on Linux, for some things it's not there yet. And so if we're talking about your primary workstation, yeah, it might be best to wait for a while or maybe just go full Linux. But I think someday Chrome OS Flex will be there. And what is this? New notification? Okay, install complete. So on your launcher, it's going to be down here in Linux apps. And it looks like I got a teeny tiny little window. Is this what you're giving me? <laughs> All right. Well, it worked. It's kind of slow. Maybe that's first time jitters. I don't know. I have noticed sometimes things are a little slower when I'm doing the uh, screen recording. But one thing I always use for Visual Studio is... Um, on Linux at least, is I'll have a folder and I like to right click on it and open the folder with Visual Studio. And it looks like I have that option. Let me just close it and see if I can launch it like that. Well, despite being in my teeny tiny window again, it looks like that part worked. Let's just make a folder in here, a file I mean. Save it, see if it shows up. There we go. All right, so that's good. Um, traditional Visual Studio Code seems to work fine. And it's just, it's a little slower than I'd like, in my opinion. It's, um, it's not very responsive. Like when I made a new file, well, I mean, maybe once it's running, it's good. Maybe you can get better performance by turning off that mini map. I always turn that off anyway. So anyway, that's method one of Visual Studio Code. And it works. And if you have a faster laptop than what I got here, you might have better luck. I'm going to go ahead and uninstall that real quick. It'll be easy to reinstall later should I need it. But the other method is the uh, progressive web app of Visual Studio Code, which is at vscode.dev. And that is bringing me to a, oh, I guess it's loading. It looks like a blank white screen to me, but when I, it's because the display on this laptop so bad, I couldn't see the logo in the background. Okay, so this is the progressive web app version. And to install it up on your, I guess, Omnibar, they call it, you'd click on install Visual Studio Code and do that. 
and that'll give you its own window. And you're not gonna get the option in a folder to open with code using this, but there is an open folder button and you can go ahead and browse to uh, what I was working on. And where was that? Oh, here it is in the downloads. There we go. Give it permission to view the files. And here I have my two uh, files I was working on. I can make a new file, test on HTML. The, the annoying thing about a web app is the first time you edit a file, you have to get that little warning dialogue. But, um, this is great. Let's just save that and take a look. So there's another way to get Visual Studio Code. Um, and some of the extensions that you can work on the web app, uh, some of the ones I use, like uh, ESLint, I noticed does not work on this. But depending on what language you're doing, like here's some Python IntelliSense that seems to work on the web app. So for those of you who uh, can't get Linux working at all, or who find the native one too slow on your device, the Progressive Web App is actually a viable option, I think, too. And I'm sure this will improve over time also, as all Progressive Web Apps seem to be getting more popular. So anyway, bottom line, to answer the question, yes, Visual Studio Code is going to work on your Chrome OS Flex or regular Chrome OS device, whether you have Linux or not, which is good. So if that's what you use for your main development environment, which is what I personally use for most of my work, then you should be in luck. So if you found that helpful, let me know in the comments. Or if you thought it sucked, you can let me know in the comments too. Either way, a thumbs up would be appreciated. Or subscribe. And if you have other things you want me to test out, just let me know. But until next time, I thank you for watching. I hope everyone's having a great day. And until next time, thank you for watching. Thumbs up. Bye now.